Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the final of EuroQuiz 2019. My name is Christine Graham, and as Deputy Presiding Officer, it's a great pleasure to welcome you to the Scottish Parliament this afternoon. Today, you're seated at the desk, normally occupied by my colleagues, our MSPs, uh, and your finalists in here are drawn from primary schools all over Scotland. So, for the first thing, you've all done very well to get through your heats to achieve a place in today's final. So, big congratulations to all making it through to the Scottish Parliament. And a round of applause to yourselves for getting in the first place. I'd also like to offer a warm welcome to everyone in the public gallery, friends, teachers, parents and family. You're all very welcome here in this your Scottish Parliament. I'm delighted that Eurocrest has returned once again to Holyrood, especially this year as the Parliament is celebrating its 20th anniversary. And I have been here 20 years. I came here as a child. <laughs> this is my third time as Quizmaster and it's great to see such an invasion of primary six pupils. And can I say so far, you're much better behaved than the MSPs. I'm always amazed at the level of knowledge you have about our European neighbours. I'd also like to offer special thanks to everyone at the Scottish European Education Trust for their efforts in ensuring the ongoing success of this excellent competition. We're also honoured to be joined by the Head of the European Parliament's Office in Scotland, Per Johansson, you've already met this morning. I'm also pleased to say that Per will be lending me his assistance throughout today's final. Well, I have the relatively, who wrote this? It's not easy. The relatively easy task of asking the questions. Sometimes I even know the answers. It will fall to Per to explain the answers while each round's question sheets are being marked. This EuroQuiz final is also being watched live via our webcast in classrooms around the country. So can I say hello to all of you out there and I hope you'll be getting behind your classmates here in the chamber. A very warm well welcome to you from everyone here. Another round of applause for your colleagues at school. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to wish all of our finalists the very best of luck. And of course, if you're attempting the quiz in your classroom or indeed in the public galleries, we'll test you later. I hope you have an enjoyable day and the best of luck to you too, too. Thank you very much. And we now move on. And I'd like to welcome the schools that have come. So when I say your names, can you please wave? And I'll give you a little time waving so that we can get you on camera for your school. Eighth Junior High. There's Eighth. And Annan Hill Primary. Busby Primary, Clovenford's Primary. You're from my patch, but I'm very unbiased in this. I'm only asking the questions. Cumley Park Primary. Hello. Cradle Hall Primary. Dulloch Primary. Fort Hill Primary. What earth is that in your desk? It's all, is it lit up? Whoa, whoa, hey, I hope the camera caught that. <laughs> Glenburn Primary. Gullen or Gillen Primary, whichever, what, how do I say it, Gillen or Gullen? Gullen. Gullen, that's it, thank you. Hermitage Primary. Hopeland Primary. Houston Primary. Ah, Houston, do we have lift off? Your parents will understand that one. Inverkip Primary. James Gillespie's Primary. Kelvindale Primary. That's some mascot you've got there. I can't see you. Is he taking part or is she taking? Is it he or is she? He. The big rabbit thing in the end. Is it a rabbit or a hare? A dog. It's a donkey. Oh. <laughs> Lift it up so I can see where it really is. We couldn't see. It's... That looks like a hare or a rabbit to me. I don't know, but it's... where do we go? Now I've lost my place. 
Lindsay, I'm at, I'm at Lindsay Meadow Primary. Where are you? Hello. Linlithgow Primary. Maison Dieu Primary. <laughs> oh, they're good waves. Morriswood Primary. You're from my patch as well, but I'm not going to be special about you, okay? Miller Forest Primary. Our Lady of Good Aid Cathedral Primary. No. Port Moak Primary. Robert Gordon's College Junior School. Where are you? Ah, there you are. Now, I've got to get this right. Skoll and Rua. Have I got that right? Oh, good. Shappensey. Can I say I've been to Shappensey? So there you are. I've been to your island. St. Leonard's Primary. St. Mary's Primary. Right at the back. Strathblane Primary. Again at the back, yes. Strathdevon Primary. Traqueer Primary. And West Kilbride Primary. I think you should all hold up your mascots as well. Can I just see what you've brought with you? Oh my goodness me. A goose. Don't tell me it's a hen. It looks like a goose. And, and, and the donkey that I think looks like a, oh yes. Oh, but what's that? <laughs> what on earth is it? Don't you know? It's a, a wolf. A what? French mole. A French mole. <laughs> wolf. A French wolf. What are you doing? That's taking part of Europe too far. I love them all. Thank you for bringing them along. Now I'd like to read a message from John Swinney. I uh, wish I'd brought a mask along now. Uh, and this is what he has to say. Because he can't manage today and he'd love to have been here, but he's asked me to say this. Euroquiz is a wonderful opportunity for young people to learn more about the rich and diverse culture of our European neighbours. It broadens our horizons, allows them to increase their language ability and other core skills while giving them a chance to share that learning with their peers. My wholehearted congratulations to everyone who's participated in this year's Euroquiz, particularly those competing in the national final. So that's the message from John Swinney. So I'm now going to invite Per Johansson, Head of the European Parliament Liaison Office, to give an overview and explanation of how the quiz will run, because I'm sure to get it wrong. So I'll listen very carefully. Thank you very much. What a room of knowledge I have in front of me. It's, this is going to be amazing, I'm sure. Thank you, Christine. Although you didn't bring a mascot today, you've got me, so... <laughs> and I don't know what you want to call me. Uh, a French wolf. A, a sweet, exactly. <laughs> think about it and let us know later. Um, and thank you for your introduction and for being our quiz master today. Um, I am Per Johansson. I am the head of office of the European Parliament Liaison Office in Edinburgh. Uh, although I'm Swedish by birth, I am certainly European, and part of me is as well Scottish, because my wife and daughter are certainly Scottish. So I also have a couple of personal connections to some of the schools here today, but I will be, of course, totally impartial. My wife is from Helmsborough, so Hermitage, <laughs> and we live in the catchment of James Gillespie, so I've got a few connections there as well. Um, more my, a lot of my work at the moment is uh, concentrating on the European elections coming up on the 23rd of May. So all you kids, please make sure that your parents, older siblings, grandparents and friends go to vote on the 23rd of May because it's a very important election coming up. I would also like to say congratulations to all of you for making it this far. This is a really, really, really good achievement and also to all your friends and uh, classmates back home for being part of getting you this far. I also want to welcome, again, all the parents and all the guests, friends, 
family uh, in the galleries and also all the schools and others watching on the live stream. So remember, we're all being filmed and it's all going out to the whole of the world to watch. Um, if you here in the galleries and people at home want to take part in the quiz, which I'm sure you will, and test your knowledge as well, you here in the audience will have answer sheets in the program with you. So please feel free to, to test your knowledge as well. Um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about how the quiz will run. Uh, so we will start off with uh, three rounds in which you will all participate. So every team will be part of the first three rounds. We will start with round one, which is 20 questions. And these questions will be asked in pairs. So I will ask you to, to move into your pairs for the first round. And we will add up the points to give the total score of the team after round one. Then we will go to round two, which is, I have to admit, my favorite round, the language round. Uh, and there you have 15 questions for teams. And here you can discuss your answers within the team, uh, all four of you. First qu 10 questions of this round will be spoken language questions in four languages, German, Italian, Spanish, and French. And then we will follow with five general knowledge questions in language. And all these questions have been developed in partnership with Education Scotland and SILT, the Scotland's National Centre for Languages. And they have been recorded by native speakers in all these four languages uh, from Harriet Watt University here in Edinburgh. Then, if we get that far, we will follow on with round three, which will focus on history, culture, and European affairs. This round also has 20 questions. And at this stage, you will again be asked to work in pairs with the person sitting next to you. And the points will then be added up to give the team score. And after each round, I will be taking you through the answers. Christine will give you the questions. I will do the answers while the papers are being marked. After round three is when it gets really exciting because then the two teams that are in the lead will go forward to the final round. And the round four, we have 10 questions for teams, followed by, which I think is the most important and probably most exciting part of the quiz, which is the bus around, which will then decide the overall winning team of EuroQuiz 2019 or 2019. And these instructions will be repeated before every round, so don't worry if you didn't get everything right now. But before we start, I just have one question to you all, and that is, are you ready? Yes! Did you hear them, Christine? Should we ask again? Are you ready? Yes! Very good. So I will, that, with that, I will hand you over to Christine, because now I'm sure you are ready. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Per. Right, round one, I'm just going to start again, but in bits, so you don't get lost. Round one will be 20 questions for you to answer in pairs and we'll cover geography. Working with the person next to you, listen to the question. You can then discuss your answer on one of you, just one of you should write the answer on the answer sheet. Remember, you're not allowed to confer with the other pair in your team. You don't need to divorce them like that. I mean, you're miles away now, but I don't think you're going to confer. You should have two yellow answer sheets in front of you, one sheet per pair. Write the name, this is important, write the name of your school at the top and listen carefully to the questions. Please try to spell as well as you can. However, spelling will not count against you as long as the meaning is clear. I'll read the questions and the possible answers. I will ask each question twice and the possible answers when it's multiple choice twice. Please listen carefully as they'll not be repeated after this, but they'll also appear on the screen behind me. So, off we go. Question one. What is the capital of Bulgaria? What is the capital of Bulgaria? Are we ready for question two? Question two. What is the approximate total population of the European Union? 410 million, 
508 million, 620 million. What is the approximate total population of the EU, including the UK? 410 million, 508 million, or 620 million? Ready? Ready? Okay. Question three. Which country shares borders with both Romania and Austria? Which country shares borders with both Romania and Austria? Question four. Which area in France is famous for its beautiful Renaissance castles? The Loire Valley, the French Alps, or the French Riviera? Which area in France is famous for its beautiful Renaissance castles? The Loire Valley, the French Alps, or the French Riviera? Question five, the island of Menorca belongs to which European country? The island of Menorca belongs to which European country? Have you given up in the gallery already? I don't see many trying. <laughs> Question six. Which country is the largest producer of farmed salmon in the EU? Is it Scotland, UK, the Netherlands, or Spain? Which country is the largest producer of farmed salmon in the EU? Is it Scotland, UK, the Netherlands, or Spain? Question seven, to which country does this flag belong? To which country does this flag belong? How's the donkey doing? <laughs> Better than me. Question eight. How are Sweden and Denmark connected? By land, by a bridge, or are they not connected? How are Sweden and Denmark connected? By land, by a bridge, they are not connected. Question nine. Sicily, Sardinia, and Corsica are islands to the west of Italy. Which one is not Italian? Sicily, Sardinia, or Corsica? Sicily, Sardinia, and Corsica are islands to the west of Italy. Which one is not Italian? Sicily, Sardinia, or Corsica? Question 10. What mountain range extends across most of northern Slovakia? Atlas, the Urals, or Carpathian? Which mountain range extends across most of northern Slovakia? Atlas, the Urals, or Carpathian? Or Carpathian?
question 11. This castle in Romania is commonly known as Dracula's castle. What is its proper name? This castle in Romania is commonly known as Dracula's castle. What is its proper name? Question 12. What is the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina? What is the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina? These are tough. These are difficult, aren't they? Who thinks they're difficult? Hands up who thinks they're difficult. Everybody in the gallery, everybody in the gallery has got their hands up, so don't you worry. Question 13. In which country is the longest bridge in the European Union located? In which country is the longest bridge in the European Union located? to get this one right. This is about Scotland. Question 14. What is the name of Scotland's longest river which has its source on the slopes of Ben Louis? What is the name of Scotland's longest river which has its source on the slopes of Ben Louis? Question 15. This is the euro coin produced by which member state? This is the euro coin produced by which member state? I saw a penny dropping over there, but it's not the penny. It's not the answer. Question, question 16. Serbia is landlocked, but which river provides shipping access to inland Europe and the Black Sea? Is it the Tiber, the Ural, or the Danube? Serbia is landlocked, but which river provides shipping access to inland Europe and the Black Sea? Tiber, the Ural, or the Danube? Question 17. Which European country is known as the land of fire and ice? Which European country is known as the land of fire and ice? I know that one. I know that one. At last. Question 18. How many countries does Germany share borders with? Is it nine or eight or ten? How many countries does Germany share borders with? Is it nine or eight or ten? Now, Per should get this one. Which animal do the Sami people of northern Sweden rely on? Is it the Arctic fox, reindeer, 
or the husky dog. I'm looking at his face. He's not giving anything away. What animal do the Sami people of northern Sweden rely on? Is it the Arctic fox, reindeer, or the husky dog? Liam MacArthur up in the gallery and MSP, he's doing the quiz. Are you doing the quiz? It's all that he said, he says, oh, ha, ha. is there any other MSP up there that I've missed? Just to see if you're doing it right. Question, <laughs> question 20, I'll check out later, Liam. Question 20, in ancient times, Latvia was famous for what precious stone? Was it the ruby, the opal, or the amber? In ancient times, Latvia was famous for what precious stone? Ruby, opal, or amber? Have a quick look over your answers because I'm just going to ask the teachers to collect them. Make sure you've got your class, your school name, sorry, on the top and that you've got all your answers and where you don't know the answer, you've had a good guess. Right? Now, can I ask the teachers who are doing the marking to collect in the answer papers now, please? Okay, if we can just, wee moment, because I think we've got the answers now. Can I ask Per Johansson to come to the lectern and take us through all the answers? Thank you. Thank you, Christine. So, I found that very difficult. How did you find it? Okay. Well, at least I can reveal that I do know the answer to question 19, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. So I thought just to, to make sure that you're, you're all awake, what we'll do is when I read out the question again, or go through the question, if you could just, if you know it, shout out the answer. But what we'll do so that everyone can play along, I'll go first to my left. So you over here, start with question one. We'll go to the middle for question two. And then we'll go to the right for question three, and then we'll start again and go around, okay? Are you all up for that? Good, good. So, question number one. What is the capital of Bulgaria? Sofia. Sofia is the correct answer. Well done. It's question two. The approximate total population of the EU is? B, 508 million. Question three, the country, I'm going to the right, that shares a border with Romania and Austria is? Hungary. Hungary. To my left again. Which area in France is famous for its beautiful Renaissance castles? It is? 
A, the Loire Valley. The middle again, question four, question five. The island of Menorca is located in which country? Spain. Spain, correct. And the country, question six, which is the largest producer of farmed salmon in the EU is? A, Scotland, UK. Back to my left. The flag belongs to which country? Yeah. Romania, correct. And this one, I must admit, I did know as well, so the middle. How are Sweden and Denmark connected? Yeah. By the Öresund Bridge, correct, yeah. B. And which of these three islands, question nine, is not Italian? Corsica belongs to? France, well done. No extra point for that, though. The mountain range that goes across northern Slovakia is? C, the Carpathian Mountains. Question 10, question 11, rather. Dracula's Castle, what is it also known as? Bran Castle, indeed. Question 12. The capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina is? Sarajevo. Sarajevo. And the longest bridge in the EU is located in? Portugal, indeed. The Vasco da Gama Bridge. And the cat <laughs> Christine's favorite question, question 14. The River Tay, indeed. Uh, and the euro coin, and question 15, is produced in which member state? Austria. It's got Mozart on it. So. And the river, question 16, that provides shipping access for Serbia is? The Danube. The land of fire and ice, question 17, is? Iceland. And Germany, this one is tricky, I have to say. I had to count this one myself. Question 18, how many countries does Germany share borders with? Nine, Nine countries, correct. And this one is one that I know, because it's about my part of the world. So the country that the Sami people, the country, the, the animal that the Sami people are relying on for a lot of their life is? The reindeer. And the precious stone, question 20, that uh, Latvia was famous for is? It's Amber Sea. Well done, everyone. I hope you got a lot of them right, and I'm sure you did. I'm not so sure about the galleries, but we'll see about that later on. But with that, I will hand you back to your quiz master. Okay, we're going to move on to gather yourselves, get all your wee brain cells, marshalled again, we're on to the next round. This is a team, so they're not in pairs anymore. Are you, a wee bit of gossiping going on, you're going to miss the, at the back there, you're going to miss this, you're going to miss this. Round two, this involves 15 questions for teams so you can discuss your answers but whisper them. You don't want the team next door to hear it unless you're going to give them a wrong answer. Oh, I shouldn't have told you to do that. Don't do that. You should have, you should have one blue answer sheet per team in front of you. And again, write the name of your school at the top of the sheet. I do that right now so you don't forget. The first 10 questions are spoken language questions in German, Italian, Spanish and French, followed by five general knowledge language questions in English. For the first five questions, you'll hear a short phrase or question spoken in different languages. These will appear in this order. German, then Italian, then Spanish and French. You'll be asked to identify what this means in English. In English, don't be clever and try to write in French and German. We want it in English. 
You will hear each recording twice. After the second time, you'll be given a few moments to discuss the answer with your team. Write down your answer, I repeat, in English on your sheet. You can make notes at any time, but it's extremely important that you remain completely silent while they're listening to the voices. So, for a start, what does this mean in English? Sprechen Sie Englisch? Parla inglese. Habla inglés. Parlez-vous anglais? Sprechen Sie Englisch? Parla inglese. Habla inglés. Parlez-vous anglais? Question 2. What does this mean in English? Ich habe im September Geburtstag. Il mio compleanno è a settembre. Mi cumpleaños es en septiembre. Mon anniversaire est en septembre. Ich habe im September Geburtstag. Il mio compleanno è a settembre. Mi cumpleaños es en septiembre. Mon anniversaire est en septembre. Question 3. What does this mean in English? Ich habe drei Brüder. O tre Fratelli. Tengo tres hermanos. J'ai trois frères. Ich habe drei Brüder. O tre fratelli. Tengo tres hermanos. J'ai trois frères. What does this mean in English? Ich spiele nicht gern Fußball. Non mi piace giocare a calcio. No me gusta jugar al fútbol. Je n'aime pas jouer au foot. Ich spiele nicht gern Fußball. Non mi piace giocare a calcio. No me gusta jugar al fútbol. Je n'aime pas jouer au foot. Question 5. What does this mean in English? Guten Appetit. Buon appetito. Buen provecho. Buon appetit. Guten appetit. Buon appetito. Buen provecho. Buon appetit. For questions 6 to 10, you will now be asked five different questions, this time in English, and you will hear the answers spoken in German, Italian, Spanish, and French. Write down the answer to the question in English on your sheet. You don't need to translate the whole phrase, just listen for the piece of information you're asked for. Remember, you're listening for the piece of information you're asked for. The questions are written on your answer sheets to remind you. You may make notes at any time, but again, it's very important that you remain completely silent when you're listening to the voices. Question six. What does Alex have for lunch? Zu Mittag esse ich Kartoffeln. A 
pranzo mangio le patate. Como patatas para el almuerzo. Pour le déjeuner, je mange des pommes de terre. Zu Mittag esse ich Kartoffeln. A pranzo mangio le patate. Como patatas para el almuerzo. Pour le déjeuner, je mange des pommes de terre. Question 7. Give one piece of information about this person's father. Just one piece of information about this person's father. Mein Vater ist 40 Jahre alt und er ist groß. Mio padre ha 40 anni ed è alto. Mi padre tiene 40 años y es alto. Mon père a 40 ans. Et... Mein Vater ist 40 Jahre alt und er ist groß. Mio padre ha 40 anni ed è alto. Mi padre tiene 40 años y es alto. Mon père a 40 ans et il est grand. Question 8. What is Ali's favorite subject at school? What is Ali's favorite subject at school? Mein Lieblingsfach ist Informatik. La mia materia preferita è l'informatica. Mi assignatura favorita è la informatica. Ma materia preferita è l'informatica. Mein Lieblingsfach è l'informatic. La mia materia preferita è l'informatica. Mi assignatura favorita è la informatica. Ma materia preferita è l'informatica. Question 9. What pet or pets does Sam have? What pet or pets does Sam have? Ich habe einen Hund und zwei Katzen. Ho un cane e due gatti. Tengo un perro y dos gatos. J'ai un chien. Et deux chats. Ich habe einen Hund und zwei Katzen. Ho un cane e due gatti. Tengo un perro y dos gatos. J'ai un chien et deux chats. Question 10. Where is this person asking for directions to and what would they like to purchase? Entschuldigung, wo ist der Supermarkt bitte? Ich möchte Brot kaufen. Mi scusi, dove si trova il supermercato? Vorrei comprare del pane. Disculpe, ¿dónde está el supermercado? Quiero comprar pan. Excusez-moi, ¿où est le supermarché? Je voudrais acheter du pan. 
Entschuldigung, wo ist der Supermarkt bitte? Ich möchte Brot kaufen. Mi scusi, dove si trova il supermercato? Vorrei comprare del pane. Disculpe, dove sta il supermercato? Quiero comprar pan. Excusez-moi, où est le supermarché? Je voudrais acheter du pain. Excusez-moi for that. Um, there are two parts. Remember, it's where are they asking for directions to and what would they like to purchase? The final five questions for this round are general knowledge language questions. These will be asked in English and will be displayed on the screen behind me. I will ask each question twice. Please listen carefully as they will not be repeated after this. Question 11. Belgium has three official languages, French, Dutch and German. Which one of them has the most speakers? Belgium has three official languages, French, Dutch and German. Which one of them has the most speakers? Question, question 12. Which language spoken in northern Spain and southwestern France is unrelated to any other language and whose origin is still unknown. Which language spoken in northern Spain and southwest France is unrelated to any other language and whose origin is still unknown? Question 13. The word circus Manicure and territory have their root in which language? The words circus, manicure and territory have their roots in which language? I think the gallery's given up. N'est-ce pas? <laughs> Question 14. Latvian is one of the two living languages from the Baltic language family. Which is the other one? Latvian is one of the two living languages from the Baltic language family. Which is the other one? Question 15. Calimera is the word to say good morning in which language? Calimera is the word to say good morning in which language? Hands up in the gallery who knows the answer. Nobody. One, two. <laughs> right. That concludes that section. I now ask the teachers to collect in the papers for marking. You can have a wee blather now.
right, everybody? Can I have your attention, please? Thank you. I'd like to ask Per Johansson and collect and again to take us through the answers as before. Thank you, Per. Thank you, Schön. Merci beaucoup. Um, as I said, this is my favorite round, the language round. So I'm very happy to go through the answers with you. And let's do the same as we did last time. Shout out the answer if you know it. First to my left, then in the middle, then to the right, and we'll do it again. So we'll start with the first five. So question number one. In Italian, it is parla inglese. In English, it is? Do you speak English? Question two. Ich habe im September Geburtstag in German. What is it in English? My birthday is in September. Question three. In Spanish, it's tengo tres hermanos. In English, it is I have three brothers. Question four. In French, it is, je n'aime pas jouer au foot. In English, it is, I don't like playing football. Question five. In German, it's guten appetit. In English, it is, enjoy your meal or enjoy your food. And then we come on to the five questions where we had questions in English and answers where you had to find the, 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 the information. So question six, what does Alex have for lunch? Potatoes. Question seven, here we were asked to find one piece of information about this person's father. There were two pieces. So can I have the first piece of information? He's 40 years old. And the second piece of information? He's tall. So one of them would have given you the correct answer. Question eight. What's Ali's favorite subject at school? Computer studies or IT? Yes. Question nine. What pets does Sam have? One dog and two cats, exactly. One dog and two cats. Question 10. Where, and this was the one that's got two parts, where is this person asking for directions and what would they like to purchase or buy? Supermarket and bread is correct. Question 11. Out of the three official languages in Belgium, which one is spoken by the most people? Dutch or Flemish? Which language from the north of Spain and southwest France is unrelated to any other language and has an unknown origin? Basque, indeed. And the words circus, question 13, manicure and territory have their roots from which language? Latin. And just so you know, the roots of the words are circus, circus, manus, and terra. Latvian is one of the two living languages from the Baltic language family, which is the other one? Lithuanian. And Kalimera is good morning in which language? Greek. How did that feel, everyone? Yeah? I'm sure you all did very, very well. But as Christine said, maybe some of the gallery and you at home, I'm not so sure. We'll see. Thank you very much, and best of luck for the next round, Christine. I like I like the person who thought Calimera was the Gaelic or the Gaelic for her.
quite a change. I don't think many in the I didn't get many. Did many in the gallery get many of those? Oh, lead at the end. You got 14. Come away down here and play. You're good. <laughs> Anybody else beat 14? Oh, there we are. How did you do, Mr. MacArthur? <laughs> you can see why he's a politician. Doesn't give a straight answer. Well, well done, everyone. <laughs> the scores were really close, leaving a few teams in the lead, but with many others close behind, so there's still everything to play for. That was a tough round for everybody, so don't despair. Now we move on to the third and the final round. Now, round three is especially important, as this could be a deciding round uh, uh, if scores are tied at the end. So if they're tied, this is the end that's taken into account. After this, we'll know who the finalists will be. This round will be 20 questions for you to answer in pairs and will cover history, culture and European affairs. Working with the person to you, listen to the question. You can then discuss your answer and one of you should write the answer on the answer sheet. You're not allowed to confer with the other pair in your team. Remember, not like the other pair in your team. Know what your answer, hear what you're saying. You should have two pink sheets. We're working our way through the colours. Pink sheets in front of you, one per pair. Please make sure you write your name of your school at the top of the sheet. As with all previous rounds, the question will be asked twice, and please listen carefully, and the questions will also appear on the screen behind me. Question one. What is the name of the Dutch artist who created these paintings? What is the name of the Dutch artist who created these paintings? I think the next one's easy peasy. Question two. What is the name of this popular Turkish dessert? What is the name of this popular Turkish dessert? <coughs> Question three. Jean Monnet had the idea of creating the European coal and steel community after the Second World War. Who was the second French statesman to drive the project forward? Jean Monnet had the idea of creating the European coal and steel community after the Second World War. Who was the second French statesman to drive the project forward? That one's not easy peasy. Question three. Which country hosted the original Olympic Games? Which country hosted the original Olympic Games? Now you'll need to get this one right. Question five. Which Scottish monarch, born in 1542, was raised in France and returned to Scotland at the age of 18? Which Scottish monarch, born in 1542, was raised in France and returned to Scotland at the age of 18? And everybody in the gallery should get this. Question six. The game Minecraft was created by a company called Mojang. In which country? is the company based. The game Minecraft was created by a company called Mojang. In which country is the company based? Question seven. How did Europeans refer to the Americas when they were still exploring them? The mystic world? the New World, the Indian Territories. How did Europeans refer to the Americas when they were still exploring them? The Mystic World, or the New World, or the Indian Territories? Question eight. Terre is the most common way to say hello in which country? Terre is the most common way to say hello in which country? Just 
waiting for your call. Name, question nine, aim, name two candidate countries to the European Union. That's countries seeking entry. Name two candidate countries to the European Union. They're applying to be members. Scratching of heads there. Question 10. What was the name of the Turkish Empire, also one of the largest and longest lasting empires in history? What was the name of the Turkish Empire, also one of the largest and longest lasting empires in history? Question 12. The Moomins are the central characters in a series of books originally published in which country? The Moomins are the central characters in a series of books originally published in which country? Question 12. The actress Saoirse Ronan holds dual citizenship of the US and of which other country? The actress Saoirse Ronan holds dual citizenship of the US and of which other country? Question 13. Which of the following is one of Europe's most endangered animals? The wild boar, the monk seal, or the osprey? Which of the following is one of Europe's most endangered animals? Wild boar, monk seal, or osprey? Question 14. The backstop that we've heard so much about in the news could affect the border between which two countries? The backstop that we've heard so much about in the news could affect the border between which two countries? Hands up in the gallery for that one. Who knows the backstop? Nobody. Come on, put your hands up. Let's see how many of you know it. I would certainly hope so. I'm sick of hearing about it, right? Question 15. The CE marking symbol is attributed to products that have no expiry date, are produced by local enterprises, or meet the safety, health, and environmental requirements of the EU. The CE marking symbol is attributed to products that have no expiry date or are produced by local enterprises or meet the safety, health and environmental requirements of the EU. Question 16. Which Swedish chemist invented dynamite pair? Which Swedish chemist invented dynamite. Well, it wasn't pear, by the way. Which Swedish chemist invented dynamite? <laughs> Question 17. Around 500 BC, the city of Athens introduced government by the people. People took decisions by voting. What word do we use today to describe this? Around 500 BC, 
The city of Athens produced government by the people. People took decisions by voting. What word do we use today to describe this? Question 18. Which animal is central in the legend of the founding of the city of Rome? The dog, a lion, or a wolf? Which animal is central to the legend of the founding of the city of Rome? A dog, a lion, or a wolf? Question 19. The UK, the Republic of Ireland and Malta are three out of four EU member states where people drive on the left. Which is the fourth? Cyprus, Greece or Slovenia? The UK, the Republic of Ireland and Malta are three out of four EU member states where people drive on the left. Which is the fourth? Cyprus, Greece or Slovenia? the last one. Question 20. The 2017 animated film Ferdinand tells the story of a bull from which country? The 2017 animated film Ferdinand, there he is, tells the story of a bull from which country? Right now I'd like to ask the teachers to collect in the papers for the final time. Thank you. Okay, let's hear what the answers are for this time. Can I ask Per Johansson once again to come to lectern and take us through all the answers? I thought that was quite tough. Mm. Yes, thank you, Christine. Um, how do you feel after this round, guys? Yeah? That means that you're, you're, you're all done for a bit now, because we'll have a comfort break after this, so you can have some water and go to, uh, to the bathroom and other things. So, but let's start going through the, the, the questions and we'll do the same again. I'll read them out and then I want to hear what you think. So round three, question number one. Which artist has created these paintings? There's also a self-portrait in there. Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh, yeah, exactly. And the name of Christine's favorite dessert is, question two? <laughs> Turkish delight or lokum. Jean Monnet had a colleague who was also very involved in the formation of what we today call the European Union, and his name was? Robert Schumann. Robert Schumann, indeed. Well done. And the original, question four, the original Olympic Games were hosted in? Greece, Greece indeed. Question five, the Scottish monarch who came back from France at the age of 18 is... Mary, Queen of Scots, Mary the First, Maria Stuart, Mary Stuart, any of those will do. And the, the fantastic, I think, game of Mi Minecraft was created by a company from which country? I have not written these questions, by the way, but uh, it is Sweden. The Europeans used to refer to the Americas in question seven while they were still exploring them as be the new world. 
And hello, terre for hello, is said in which country the flag on the skier gives it away? Estonia. Estonia. Question nine. Two candidate countries to the European Union. Here there are so many alternatives that I will give them to you. So you have to name two of them, basically. So we have Serbia, Montenegro, Albania, Macedonia, or the Republic of North Macedonia, as it's called nowadays, and Turkey. So any two of those will do. And the name of the Turkish Empire for question 10 which was the longest and, lo uh, uh, and largest uh, uh, in history, is called the Ottoman. the Ottoman Empire. And it lasted from 1300 to 1922. And some of my favorite characters when I was a child are the Moomins. And where did they originally publish? In Finland. Question 12. Saoirse Ronan has a dual citizenship. She's American, but she's also Irish. Republic of Ireland. She's Irish, yes. And the endangered species in question 13 was not an animal that was eaten by Asterix and Obelix, but B, the monk seal. And the backstop in question 14 could affect the border between which two countries? Ireland. So, the Republic of Ireland, Ireland, and Northern Ireland in the UK. Question 15. The CE symbol means that C, that the, the product meets the safety, health, and environmental requirements of the EU. Question 16. The Swedish chemist that invited, invented dynamite and that has also left a large sum of money for a big prize that's given in December each year is called Alfred Nobel, Alfred Nobel the Nobel Prize. Question six, 17. The government by the people in the city of Athens is today known as democracy. And this animal, for question 18, I have seen, although not an Italian one, as a mascot in the audience or in the, in the competition today. And the animal is? Wolf. It's a wolf. I saw the French wolf, not an Italian wolf. <laughs> and the fourth country in question 19, except for the UK, the Republic of Ireland and Malta, where you drive to the left, is? Cyprus, Cyprus indeed. Finally, question 20, one of my favorite cartoon characters as well from my childhood, uh, Ferdinand, the, the bull who is too nice to be a bull, bullfighting bull, uh, is, call, is from which country? He is from Spain, indeed. Well done, everyone. I'm sure you did all did very, very well, and I can see some not so elated faces in the galleries, so we'll see how the galleries did. Christine, over to you. Thank you. Right, thank you very much, Pear. A round of applause for finishing off those three rounds to you all. That was very hard. <laughs> all right, while all the papers are being marked to verify the scores, we'll have a short break. Can I ask you to be back here by 2.30, the clock's up there. If you'd like a drink of water, you can go at the back of the room. And if you want to go to the toilets and so on, people will help you at the back as well. But as I say, please be back for 2.30 when we move on to the final, the grand final. Thank you. <laughs>